What's going on everyone? I am back here with another unboxing video for you guys. And what I'm going to be unboxing today <clears throat> is the iPod Touch 5th generation. I picked this up today at my local uh, Apple store for $299 for the 32GB uh, version. <clears throat> um, and this iPod Touch was announced alongside the uh, iPhone 5. Back in on uh, September 21st, I believe. <clears throat> so, uh, so far this is a big upgrade in the iPod Touch line. Um, considering how slow the iPod Touch 4th generation is, uh, this iPod Touch here is a huge upgrade from the previous version. Uh, so, let's go ahead and uh, open it up. Or actually, first I'll give you guys a quick look at the box. So here's the front. Gives you a a view of the iPod Touch itself on the side. As you oh, also as you can see, I got the blue version. <coughs> but on the side here, it says iPod Touch, Apple logo, iPod Touch, and bottom is serial numbers, which I'm not going to show. And on the back it says 32 gigabyte. And some designed by Apple in California and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open it up now. As you can see, I've already taken off that tape just to make it a lot easier for myself. Open this. And uh, here is the iPod Touch itself, right there. So let me go ahead and set that off for the, uh, to the side just a moment. Uh, designed by Apple in California. <coughs> Uh, and then we have a little pamphlet here, which says, Hello, which contains your quick start guide, uh, your two Apple stickers, and some warranty information. Um, and then we have the brand new stuff that comes with the new iPod Touch. And the first thing is the, is the brand new uh, lightning uh, connector, which we saw with the uh, iPhone 5. Uh, next is the uh, Apple EarPods, and these this version of the EarPods unfortunately does not come with the remote and mic uh, like the Air, uh, EarPods that come in the iPhone 5, unfortunately. So with the iPod Touch and iPod Nano, you only get the standard version of the EarPods. So it's kind of a bummer, but I mean at least you get some pretty good quality headphones in here. And then, I'm not going to take this out right now, but the last thing is the uh, new iPod Touch Loop. And essentially what that is, is a lanyard that you would connect to the back of your iPod Touch, uh, so you do not drop it. So that's pretty cool that Apple includes that. So let me go ahead and put everything back in here. Set it here for now. take a quick look at the iPod Touch and I am going to keep it on the plastic and keep this film on it because I do not want any um, dirt or dust on it because I am going to be putting a uh, screen protector on it right after this video so I want to keep it as clean as possible so I can give you guys a look at what the back looks like through the plastic and my hands are kind of fogging it up alright there we go so, as you guys can tell, I got the uh, blue and white. Uh, and then right here you have your... Uh, actually, before I do that, uh, the back of this is actually made of the same material the iPhone 5 is made out of. Uh, it is an anodized aluminum, <coughs> which is pretty durable. Uh, so, moving on here, we have the Apple logo iPod. And then we have the Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth antenna. Uh, and then right here is your brand new uh, 5 megapixel EyeSight camera, which is uh, new to the iPod Touch. As you all know, uh, the iPod Touch 4th generation had a very, very bad camera on the both front and back. So, really good improvement there. It supports 1080p video recording and uh, panorama, just like the iPhone 5. Uh, and then next to that, you have a 
microphone. And then you have the indented flash, just like the iPhone 5, to prevent glare. Uh, and then moving to the bottom right here, or the bottom left corner, uh, we have the actual button for the iPod Touch Loop. And essentially what you do here is you would push on this button, and it will pop out, and that's what you connect the iPod Touch uh, lanyard to. Uh, so you don't drop it. So, and then on this side, we have nothing. On the top, we have your uh, sleep-wake button, which is now color-coordinated to the uh, type of color that you get. It is also metal and not plastic like it was on the fourth generation. Uh, and then the same thing with the volume buttons. The, they are also color-coordinated and are also metal as well. Uh, so it pretty much matches the iPhone 5 in terms of build quality and just essential uh, the way the buttons are. Um, the way they're uh, metal. Uh, and then back to the front here, we have your standard home button. And the front of it is all white. That is only with the colors. Uh, if you get the black anodized version, uh, it'll have a black front. Uh, but, yes, you have your home button here. And then you have your awesome 4-inch uh, retina display, which you will also see on the iPhone 5. Uh, and then up top is where we have another improvement, uh, and that is the new improved front-facing uh, front FaceTime HD camera, which is now a 1.2 megapixel uh, backside illuminated, uh, and it supports up to 720p HD video recording at 30 frames a second, as well as the back is a 30 frame a second camera, but just 1080p. Uh, and both of these cameras also support face detection, so the front and back support the, uh, the cool face detection feature. <clears throat> um, one thing that is missing from the iPod Touch 5th Gen is the ambient light sensor. As you can t uh, tell here, there is no ambient light sensor at all, as there were on the 4th generation. So, in my opinion, that is... That's a real big bummer because I kind of like to have that feature because it just allowed the uh, brightness to change dynamically without me needing to do anything. So I'm probably kind of bummed that that's gone, but I mean, oh well. You have a, it makes up for uh, the ambient light sensor and all the other features that this iPod Touch packs. Uh, and then lastly, on the bottom here, don't know if you can see it, uh, we have the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Uh, then we have the brand new lightning connector and the new improved speaker, which I believe is a lot louder and clearer than the fourth generation was. But I haven't uh, done any tests with it yet, so I'll have to uh, check that out and uh, let you guys know how it sounds. <coughs> uh, then, real quick, I'm going to tell you guys what the uh, internals are. Uh, not every internal, but just a couple of main as aspects. And the first one is, uh, this iPod Touch is now packing an A5 uh, dual-core processing chip, which, that is the same exact chip that the iPhone 4S is running at, or has built in it, I should say. Uh, it also has 512 megabytes of RAM, just like the iPhone 4S. And it supports Bluetooth 4.0, uh, the newest Bluetooth that is out right now. As well as a um, gyroscope, the accelerometer, uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, overall this is basically a identical version of the iPhone 4S, just in a much, much sleeker form factor, and just without the uh, cellu cellular phone capabilities. So, in t uh, my opinion, in terms, you can just basically say that this is a slimmed down version of the iPhone 4S, because it has all of the specs and, uh, basically, yeah, all the specs that the iPhone 4S has, because of the A5 chip, 
512 megabytes of RAM, all that good stuff. So, yeah, this is a really, really fast iPod Touch. Um, and also, I forgot to mention, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this iPod Touch now supports Siri. So, yes, uh, iPod Touch owners will now get to experience Siri, which is fantastic in my opinion. So, that is one thing that is making this iPod Touch extremely good. So, anyway, that's pretty, um, that, uh, this, excuse me, <laughs> this has been my unboxing of the uh, iPod Touch 5th generation. Uh, before I go, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like next to the iPhone 5, uh, which I have here. Um, since the screen is not on here, I'm just going to turn this screen on and it basically looks identical. So, as you can see, it has the same exact 4-inch um, uh, diagonal retina display as the iPhone 5, <coughs> as well as the uh, 1.2 megapixel camera on the front. Same exact thing there. And I can't really show the back because I have a case on it, but like I said earlier, it has the same exact uh, anodized aluminum finish of the iPhone 5. So, yeah, really, really nice device. I recommend you guys picking one of these up if you are in the market for one. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been my unboxing video of the iPod Touch 5th generation. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Uh, make sure to thumbs up the video. Uh, comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. Do not be afraid to ask. I will be sure to answer your questions. And that's pretty much it. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and peace out.